The intent of the workshop was primarily threefold. First of all, of course, it was about training the artisans through the new types of skills and the techniques of the scoop and craft developed from uh, or the traditional ways of making the products that they used to. The second point was to develop a new generation of scoop and product from uh, new types of surface creation as well as 3D form generating the techniques which will lead to the creation of this new range of products. And the third and a very important point was making them understand about the quality benchmarks that is needed if they have to have their products sold at an international market and how to achieve and maintain th that sort of quality standards. In the, in the first workshop when these new techniques were being taught to them. The idea was not to jump to product creation immediately. They were taught certain standard language of textile weaving using graphs which designers and weavers use all over the world. Because the pressure of generating new products was not onto them, they freely explored, almost like in a classroom situation where they had, had fun, they enjoyed uh, trying out various sort of color combination, various formations of weaves, twills, and had a variety of forms of mats which became the raw material for the next stage of the workshop, which was the second workshop. As they were exploring these new forms and formats of surface uh, generation, another aspect which was introduced to them is the aspect of quality. Certain products of extremely high quality were shown by the, um, by the designer products that have been developed in Africa or in Southeast Asia, even in uh, Sri Lanka, which was exquisite in their nature. Now, what was explained by the designer is that for that sort of a quality to be achieved, certain uh, methods and certain tools needed to be used. Tools as simple as using a steel scale to achieve a straight line. And the artisans also realized that once their eyes were setting to the standards of quality which is expected from them, it was becoming easier for them to maintain that. The second workshop happened at NID in Ahmedabad. For most of the artisans who have hardly ventured out of Kerala, coming all the way from Kerala to Ahmedabad was a very big deal. That step outside gave them an immense amount of confidence and, and happiness to go out in a world away from the regular expectations and pressures of their, uh, of their family life. The second workshop was where from the stage of exploration, they were slowly graduating towards uh, product formation. But instead of the designer directing them what products to make, the approach taken was more like a co-design. The designer exp uh, exposed them or introduced them to certain uh, 3D form creation processes, like say from the braided form, how the braids can be uh, joined in a circular manner to uh, create a cylindrical form. Similarly, how around a pipe, uh, weaving can be done to create a woven cylindrical shape, uh, which made them possible to visualize and see newer forms. And the newer forms, hence was created, was something which was like a collaboration between the designer and the artisan. The uh, color combinations were at many times suggested by the artisans, and the entire process becomes like a collaborative process of the products emerging. Apart from what was expected from them as a part of the workshop, they were also exposed to certain uh, high-end shops like uh, Fab India, certain other malls where they saw the kind of products, saw the kind of clientele which comes to buy these products and had an idea of the level at which their finally the products will, will come and the sort of other products with which their products will be competing with. In the third workshop, there was a distinct shift from the exploratory mode of the first and the second workshop. Here, the idea was to work towards a predefined collection. Hence, over here, the collection, the sort of products, the color combinations uh, was decided by the designer who had worked on the combinations. Those combinations were shared and introduced to the artisans and the artisans now could understand and, and visualize the sort of products which will finally come out and they work towards a particular brief so they work towards certain deadlines, towards certain specific products which were given to each of the artisans and the result was where certain standard collections made.
as an outcome of the three workshops we were interested to have a good exhibition in um, Kochi the idea of the exhibition was primarily to show to the interested stakeholders of this craft which is the government sector certain primary buyers certain large craft chains the possibility and the emergence of what we are talking of the new new generation of stupine craft products and also to introduce them to these two organizations uh, the response that we got from most of the people who saw the products were amazing they were really excited and all they wanted to know is that how soon will these products be out for for them to buy from the stands that is something that is yet to be developed because the development of these products is only the first big step now to price these products and have an entire production plan and a marketing plan for that is something that eventually the organizations will have to work out before we can see these this new generation of stupine products out there in the market